Today is Take Your Dog to Work Day, but some U.S. companies celebrate pets every day. Nikki Batiste visits an office that was just named one of the top 10 most pet-friendly workplaces of 2018. Rachel Jones gets to work with her best friend every day. That would be Frazier, a four-year-old Brussels Griffin. She works at the tech company Fueled, one of a growing number of businesses allowing pets in the office. Do you think you would have stayed at Fueled as long as you have if they didn't let you have Frazier? Probably not. I mean, maybe that speaks to me being like more of like crazy dog person, but it's just such a, it just does so much for me, gives me so much flexibility. She's not alone. A new survey found 44% of Americans would consider a career move for a pet-friendly workplace. Let's go, Rena LaFay with the ASPCA says research shows dogs in the office can lower stress levels in workers and actually lead to increased productivity. But they can also present some challenges. Maybe your coworker might be really scared of dogs or maybe really allergic. Also, something to consider: dogs do get into wires and like to chew on wires. Fueled co-founder Ryan Matzner requires dogs to be well behaved and trained. Any downsides at all? I think once in a while it's like this dog's barking at some other dog or growling at the UPS delivery guy. <laughs> Um, but nothing really serious ever happened. Employee Lisa Huffnagel enjoys hanging out with Fraser and another office dog, Majesty. If I feel like petting them and kind of chilling out for a minute, I can take a break and do that. A work day for these two canines is looking pretty doggone good. Nikki Batiste, CBS News, New York. We're back here with my co anchor, Kingston. Thanks. So, oh, don't go anywhere, buddy. We are going to take a quick break. You guys don't go anywhere either, but Kingston, you don't go anywhere for real. We'll be right back. Thanks so much for watching.